Hey everyone, this is Brad from Elevar. Today I'm gonna to show you how to quickly update your Google Tag Manager container to meet the standards that Google Ads just released. A few weeks ago they rolled out a new custom parameter uh, tracking requirement that changes the way that our GTM suite was previously sending data to AdWords. Uh, they haven't stopped supporting the old way, but I have started to see some new errors that pop up basically saying, hey, we're you're not sending this required parameter. Uh, in the Google Ads help docs, you'll see through marketing events right here, uh, go over a new way. Um, it's not a, not a huge change. It doesn't require any code base changes, but it is a new way to send this data. Um, and this is the big thing is they're looking to send the business type. Uh, so I'll, you, you can go ahead and take a look at this article that we have linked up in the help docs. Um, I'm gonna quickly show you, assuming that you've already implemented the Google Tag Manager suite and imported our GTM container previously, I wanna be sure to walk you through on a video screen share of how you can make that update pretty quickly and test it yourself. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and walk through the process. This is the demo site that we have linked from the App Store and you'll see the old way. If we go back to just a summary here, we have all of our AdWords dash G tag for cart, miscellaneous pages, product pages, et cetera. Uh, on a specific product page, we are sending very similar data that we'll, we'll be making updates to, but you'll see we're sending to the AdWords account uh, conversion ID, the product ID, total value, and page type. So this is the old way we're doing it. Uh, we do have a little help, helpful checklist here that'll just walk you through each step that you'll have to take. And again, this hopefully it won't take more than five or 10 minutes every time to go through and, and import, update, and test. But inside of Google Tag Manager, so this is a, a test account here that I have on our demo store. And this is the, the non-plus version of the container that you import. You'll see that the AdWords G tag tags right here. All we need to do is head over on into the admin. We're gonna import the new container that we have listed in the help docs. And then on the workspace, um, I'm actually gonna go ahead and do a new workspace just to test. So we'll do our AdWords container. This will carry over everything from your default container. And now this is an important step. Obviously, I don't want you to delete any of your data, but what we wanna do here is uh, we actually want to select merge. So we're gonna merge this container with your existing container. And then you might see a few modified uh, triggers or variables here, or even tags for that matter. Uh, and this is a, an important step. So we, we actually did make a few uh, improvements to the Facebook tags as well. So if you are using Facebook tags through GTM, these have been updated as well. Basically, we're, we're passing some additional data um, that you can leverage. And then you'll see we've also made some changes to our two triggers. And then um, in our Google Analytics variable, we have a a new variable that's trying to prevent duplicate transactions that is being sent to GA. But basically this is what your import should look like. I'm gonna go ahead and confirm. And now you'll see I have a list of all my workspace changes. So the next step here is actually going through and pausing your old tags. So I, I will, I'll do a, the product page and collection page just for the demo here. So I'm pa I've paused that product page and now I'm going to go ahead and pause my collection and search page. But again, you'll want to pause all of these. So just search G tag in your tags, and this will bring up the ones that were in our original import. And then I also need to update the new AdWords conversion ID variable. It's not a big change. Honestly, the biggest change in the variable is uh, we no longer need the AW dash. So I'll, I'll just pretend like I have a conver conversion ID of one, two, three, four, five save and now that variable is linked to all of the new tags and again our help doc show you exactly where to find that inside of adwords just like you did the first time you set this up now going back to the default version of our tags here and you're going to see we have a slightly new naming convention where we have all of our AdWords global remarketing. We have our global, we have our cart page, add to cart, purchase, search results, view item, and view item list. 
Uh, we are using the default Google Tag Manager remarketing tag, so the built-in tag. And then if I pull up the product page, you'll see we're just sending a, a, a bit. The way they're asking for the data is just a little bit different. So the this is the standard built-in AdWords remarketing tag. So we have the event name, which matches up to what we have here. And then we have the event value, which is the price of the product. And then this is one of the new variables that we have is they're, they're basically looking for the event items in a JSON uh, versus just a static, uh, just the static variable, which we had previously. And then the a couple other changes that we've, we've done is we're sending additional custom parameters to try to keep consistency in your events within AdWords. So we are sending ecom page type for all tags. And then this is something new. We're passing visitor type. So this will give you guest or logged in. And these are on all of the AdWords remarketing tags that we have in this new container. So now I'll go ahead and I'm going to leave preview mode since I previously had that going. And then I'm going to start preview mode back up and just show you what we need to, need to do to test. So now once that pops over into preview mode, and we'll hopefully we caught it at the right time. All right, so now we're on a product page. We have the new AdWords remarketing tag. This is the view item. If you click into this, you'll see the event items. We have our ID, the retail vertical, the value, and then we have the custom parameters for product and guest. And We'll go over to a collection page and look at this one as well. And now we have the view item list. So this is the remarketing tag that they're asking for. And we have a new variable that's picking up the first three products within the collection to send that data to AdWords as well. Uh, that can be modified in GTM if you'd like. But So these are the three products. These are the custom parameters. So you'll see we're passing the category name and then we have the event name. So now if we went through page by page, so I've, I've gone ahead and I've imported the new container, I've done the merge and overwrite, I've paused the old tags, updated the new conversion ID variable, uh, the AdWords transaction tag and add, add to cart conversion tag. So this, this will be subjective based on uh, how you, you've ultimately gone ahead and set up your GTM and AdWords transactions but we do have two transactions which we have set up for you in this new container. This one is the same exact uh, tag that we had set up previously. I would say most stores are uh, still elect electing to have their conversion tracking sit inside of Shopify, which is fine. But if you did want to implement the AdWords transaction or keep it within GTM, this is still here for you. So if you already have this set up, then really no no major no changes at all if you uh, if you already had this live and running, uh, we did add a, another optional tag. So this is a add to cart conversion tag. So you'd have to go through create a conversion inside of AdWords and then uh, drop in the conversion label here. And now we've we've gone through and verified a couple pages. Again, you'll want to go through all of your pages. So I verified the tags fire, verified the dyna dynamic data populate some product view. Uh, we do have a new tag that AdWords is looking for, which is add to cart. So I'll go ahead and demo that. Preferably one that is not sold out. All right, so now we have the add to cart. Here's the event that fired. Here's the remarketing event. You'll see the ID, the business vertical of retail, the event value, and again, those custom parameters that we looked at previously. So now at this point, uh, the only other thing you wanna do is just make sure that any pre-existing tags that you had set up in GTM are still there and working. Every store is different, so it's gonna be impossible for me to, to tell you to, to double check X, Y, and Z tag because you might have a GTM container where you have 50 plus tags. But just do a, a spot check again, if you, when you're importing it, if you do the merge and overwrite uh, tags, triggers, and variables that have the same name, then you should not be adversely affecting any, any other previous tags. Um, once you're ready, you can go ahead and publish, and that's it. So again, we, we do have the full walkthrough in our knowledge base. Uh, I do have a link to the remarketing events requirements from AdWords. 
And if you have any questions, please let us know. I imagine we're going to get bombarded with lots of questions coming in as AdWords is not the, uh, the easiest, easiest beast to, to understand. So please bear with us in our response time. We'll get back to you as soon as possible. And one other thing, um, I am hosting a live Q&A webinar next Tuesday. It's going to be at 11 a.m. Eastern time on May 14th. And that's where I'm going to be going through a few pretty cool things on how to maximize your use of Google Tag Manager with Shopify. And if there's any questions, I'll be bringing folks on to do a live Q&A so we can break down your site and potentially add some custom tags. So I'd love to have you there. Go ahead and uh, click the link in this doc uh, or on our site to register. And I'll look forward to seeing you there. Thank you so much.